Greetings everyone. Here's my impression of the Ultra Lone Peak 6 trail runners. I could not try them before purchasing, so videos like this helped me out a bit. Most things are already covered about these shoes. So this is my take as someone who's already wearing barefoot shoes for years, but had not yet bought a pair of Ultras. Straight out of the unboxing I was eager to feel the fit. I ordered a size 44 and hoped it would fit good in order to avoid sending the pair back. They were a fit and felt much better than anticipated. They kind of looked big and bulky in the videos I've seen before getting my pair, but they sure are comfortable and intimate with the feet for a lack of a better word. I even got these gaiters, something I've never used, but since it was a sale and this pair has custom fit for gaiters, it might come handy for hiking now that I can skip my hiking boots. Hiking boots are not always the best option. Having lightweight trailers that drive faster is in most cases and seasons a better choice. I'm not new to zero drop nor thin soles, however, I know that thin soles in colder climate creates moist due to the contact between the cold and sometimes icy ground with the hot feet. With these two centimeter soles you have comfort and isolation for colder times. However, at first the two centimeters felt too high compared to what I usually wear. Everything over one centimeter is high heels. In some videos I watched before purchasing people mentioned they could be slippery at times, especially on rocks, wet rocks, wet roots and so on. This is true, but not so much that you slip immediately, but there is definitely an issue here, especially in side movements. Running on the same path with my former Salomon Senseride 4, they never slipped an inch. However, these do. On the other hand, the Ultra Lone Peaks feel much more comfortable. Overall, the Lone Peaks are better for me, but the grip loss sometimes is something to be aware of. I've already used the Ultra Lone Peaks for hiking in various landscapes, running and walking. As always, in barefoot shoes, one feels the no-shoe sensation when taking them off, which is a measure for good shoes. They do unlace from time to time, but this is solvable with double lacing or changing the laces. The Ultra Lone Peaks can be laced in various ways, and I tried out some of the options, but the standard way was the best for me. This model has proven itself for trail runs, hiking, and will of course as a comfortable good choice for regular use. My first Ultra pair is a success, I know my shoe sizing in the Ultra family, so for the next sale I'll get another less traily pair for my urban adventures. Thank you for watching and all the best.